All right, um, good day, welcome loves, welcome to my channel. All right, um, I'm getting Libra that you guys need to, um, like, uh, replenish yourself, all right? I'm getting hydrate, and I'm also getting a freaking like, a vitamin deficiency, okay? Um, I'm getting a weakening, so you may become susceptible um, to the flu season, all right? So I'm getting that for you guys, all right? So we'll see what's going on. Um, see if there's anything that's lowering yourself. You know, daily stresses, all that kind of stuff. here but yeah I don't know why but I'm getting like dehydration where some of y'all are like really dehydrated where you might have to like get an IV yeah I've known people that have had to go to the hospital and get IVs for dehydration yeah a lot of people are dehydrated and don't even know it all right see what we got here so plenty of water, good water, okay, good water. All right, so we're starting with the temperance. So there could be some divine intervention here, but there also could be, yeah, a need for some self-healing, some self-work. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting here with these two, all right? Yeah. Getting a lot of, a lot of healing is needed. So let's get for the star and the temperance here for uh, Libra here. You may be self-indulging here, whether it's food, drinks. All right, with the temperance here, I kind of feel like that's why this card is here. It's saying that. Yeah, you're kind of self-indulging. Yeah, I feel like you don't have a lot of, like, self-control. All right, let's get here for the star and the temperance. Both cards speak of a need of rejuvenation. So yeah, it's pretty much what I was vibing here. I don't know how I know this stuff. I just do. All right. For the star and the temperance here. For Libra. Yeah, like I've stated before, you know, it's fine to eat things, you know, but in moderation, you know, here and there. So not eating very healthy. That can block and disrupt energy flow. And it can block chakras and cause some issues here. You saw the four of pipes. Yeah, I feel like you really need to take some time out. All right. Some of y'all might have to see a therapist here. All right. Because if you have anything that needs to be healed through a therapist... You know, these ailments, these blockages, these disruptions won't go away. We have here the Ten of um, Pipes here. Yeah, there's a very low, low vibe mentality. So I feel like there's just a lot of negative, uh, negative thoughts here. So you need to heal your thoughts because I feel like they're, yeah, like you're in like self-destruct mode, but in a way where you're like, self-indulging in things that are affecting you mentally, physically, and eventually emotionally. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's saying that, you know, you're kind of in a, you're poisoning yourself. All right. 
Let's see what we got here for the Ten of Pipes. I feel like it's just been like a like a downward like decline here in the mental state. And it could have to do with what you feed your mind, what you feed your body, your soul. You know, everything affects us, you know, our environments, uh, the people we surround ourselves with, the things we watch, the things we listen to, the things we read, all that affects our, men our mental headspace, you know, and our energy. And so I feel like you're too much in the negative aspect. That was the Knight of Buds. Yeah, you need to s slow down here with the Knight of Buds. That's like the second time I've seen that card. So I feel like it's saying that you need to slow down to be practical, you know, because it's easy for people to get caught up in shit. But yeah, it's self-inflicting. It's doing you no good. I mean, some people like to be like this. I don't know why. I don't know how it could feel good. But, yeah. Let's get for the 10 of. Yeah. You need to do some healing here with the 6 of. Bongs. Yeah. Heal your thoughts. Let go of the past. Heal the past. Pat, yeah, see, there's that four of swords confirmation message. I feel like, yeah, you need to, like, see a therapist here, all right, and seek some mental health and also seek some uh, rest also. Um, I feel like here there's the eight of swords. You're kind of stuck. It's I kind of feel like with the magician here, like, it's been like a constant back and forth. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to this Eight of Pipes, like, you can never fully break free from it. Like, you may, you know, and then you just fall back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, that's really what I'm getting here. So I feel like there's like a pattern here. I also feel like there's a lot of like um, what's the word I'm looking for like you play the victim and maybe you have been the victim at times but and if you are that's why you need to see a therapist and seek help to heal. Yeah, we have here the three of swords, you know, and then we've got here just doom and gloom, just withering away is what I'm getting. Yeah. It's like that shit will though, like being in a very negative way for too long will freaking like age a person and like make them older than what they really are or what they really should be. Because this shit, yeah, it's like if you don't seek help and you stay stuck in like this energy, this is not going to like do you good. You're going to wither away like these plants are, you know, without sunlight, without sunlight, they can't grow without positivity, without everything being like perfect to grow you're doing the opposite because then we have the devil here it's like you head right back in to the devil and it's saying to walk away from this all right because i feel like you're trying to be this cunning independent um confident person but it's just filled with drama and competition and low vibe things and it doesn't bring anything good to the table you know 
so with the justice card here, it's like, yeah, you're, you're not living a life of truth and of, and of integrity. Integrity is a huge must for everybody. That's all we have. You know, when they say you sell your soul, they're talking about your integrity. All right. Your integrity is what gets judged. All right. And yeah, there's not a lot here. Your integrity is everything. And nowadays, it's everybody wants to be these independent single ladies. And yeah, which is fine to a point, but not when it's like in this where it's not helping you thrive. It's actually like <clears throat> killing you. All right, let's get this wrapped up here. Yeah, I feel like it's just been a vicious cycle over and over. All right, over and over again. Oh, we have here the Knight of Pipes. All right, yeah, very impulsive, very big ego, very attention-seeking, um... Yeah. Very, par very, very paranoid is what I'm getting here. So you probably dabble with the drugs, with the devil, you know, to numb. So you're in a very toxic downward spiral. Yeah, we have the nine of swords coming out here. So, yeah, it's like... You have so much fear and anxiety and worry and stress and sleepless nights. Like, nothing's really helping you. You're not, like, getting anywhere. You're crumbling. You're withering. Wow. I've been seeing your guys' decline for quite some time here. It's a pattern if you go back and see... I have here the seven of yeah it's like you're sneaky you could be sneaking around <clears throat> yeah we have the world here yeah it's like you're just stuck in a vicious reckless cycle that just keeps you at a crossroads here you know it's like just foolish and reckless with the tower and chaotic and you hide a lot of the truth yeah, it's like you really have an uphill battle, a lot of burdens, a lot of shit going on here. So we're just going to wrap this up. This is crazy. Wow. But it always catches up to people, you know? It's not about now. I educate my kids about that now. I'm like, you do realize that what you do now will affect you like later in life. Like if you go out and party all the time and all that just because you don't see effects effects now doesn't mean you won't see them down the road when it's too late. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's affecting you mentally because you rule your thoughts. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of like toxic low vibe things here chained to the devil you know and i feel like we this is hell this is like hell on earth this is a devil's playground of course he's gonna let people do this and do that and yeah it's about who can defeat him we have the hanged one and i'm about defeating this and getting the fuck up out of here yeah yeah i feel like you just you're not invested in growing you're not invested in your future you know it's like you're stagnating yeah you're just like going backwards with these welting welted trees you know nothing worse than people going backwards in life like what the hell all right let's be done here because i feel like it's just going to keep going on and on and on it's like you got to release you know, and become enlightened on 
what's going on and detach from it. But you're really like attached to very low vibe uh, entities and energies that are going to like eat you from the inside out. That's what they do. Literally. Yeah, they didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that. Yeah, because we have the higher frontier in the reverse. Yeah, they didn't like that shit. Yeah, see? We have here the nine of, yeah, wounded them demons. <laughs> I irritated those demons. Yeah, but I'll battle anytime. Yeah, I, I, the demons. <laughs> you know, it's like they create a lot of shit in your life here. Yep. Yeah. They might give you something, but there is always a catch. All right. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, it just becomes whew, overwhelming. It's destructive. It's destructive energy. All right. So, let's get a final outcome here. For Libra. Final outcome. I was getting that decaying just... Yeah. We have here regret. Yeah. There definitely could be regret. Loss. I feel like loneliness. Just, yeah, living in regret. You can't turn back can't fix everything there's that ten of with the page of joints in the moon you don't see it but it's yeah this is a confirmation message you're gonna regret if you don't do that six of cup work and heal and heal the past and let go of the past and Get out of this Ten of Sword, Five of Bong energy, all right? It's like, I feel like there's a lot that you don't see coming. There's a lot that's hidden. We have here the Devil. Yep. You're trying to hide things, but it's being shown. Yep. You have a very polluted mind, body, spirit. All right, this is the outcome. Pretty much what was showing. The only thing new in this one is the moon here. We have the knight of joints. Yeah, somebody, this is like the, you know, the male slut card. Yeah, so I feel like somebody here is very just promiscuous and yeah. Nine of pipes again, yeah. I feel like, yeah, somebody like has a lot of fear so they drink a lot, they party so we have here the six of pentacles it's like yeah there's it it's a taking energy it's a taker they take what they can get and they're very stingy and greedy all right we're done here that was the ace of uh pipes But yeah, the Six of Pentacles, and oh, that's not a good energy in the reverse. It's like, ugh. So we have here the Six of Buds, or the Queen of Buds. All right, so I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody like is very greedy with money. Yeah. We do have here the Hermit with the Tower. I feel like somebody is also like reckless when it comes to spending money. But I feel like somebody's hiding the truth about finances, <clears throat> about the reality of life. I feel like they present them, you present yourself in a way that you're not like a very homebody, loving, nurturing mother. Yeah, seven of pipes again. Same energy. It's like, and then we have here the nine of pipes. Same energy. And then we have here the two of, yeah, it's like, 
there's so much like lying and cheating and manipulating it's oh my god and then we have the four of freaking and then we have the eight of pipes again oh my god somebody yeah likes to go out gossip drink maybe cheat on somebody here either that or it's an emperor but i feel like yeah third party situation maybe you both are and you don't even know it all right, but I'm getting like, yeah, very unstable, very demasculated energy here. Um, it's a very weak masculine energy in the reverse. They have no, no say, nothing. So it's like, yeah, they gossip. They probably fit in with the girls. Yeah, it's very, very <clears throat> unmasculine of an energy there, so... I'm going to leave that there because it's fucking weird.